Anytime I'm watching. Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry where we do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. We're getting ready to read. Today's read is for Thursday, Thursday, February the 29th. This is leap year. 29 days in this month, this year, and won't happen again for four years. February the 29th, 2024, Thursday, reading from Luke the first, Luke the second chapter, the 20th verses, reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. And as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought him in, the child Jesus, and when the parents brought him, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph, his mother, marveled at those things which were spoken of him. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. And for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thine own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phenia, Phenia of the tribe of Asher. She was a, of a great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow now, a widow of about four score and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fasting and prayers night and day. That's all she did. And she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned unto Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey. And they sought him among their kinfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. 
And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that she sought me? Wits, wits ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother, she kept all these sayings in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and statue and in favor with God and man. Chapter 3. Now in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of Iturea, and of the region of Trachondit, and Lysanias, the tetrarch of Abilene, Annas and Caiaphas, being the high priests, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Esaias, the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O oh, generation of vipers, who had warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and, being not, and, be, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now as the axe is laid into the root of the trees, every tree therefore which bringeth not forth good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, me, the reader, this precious and sacred word of God. That will bring us to tomorrow, which will be 3 1 24. We're coming back, and it'll be Luke, the third chapter. We'll start reading on the 10th verse. Luke, the, four, the um, third chapter, and the 10th verse as we read through verse 9 today. Praise God. All right, in the way of announcements. Oh, get you in, get you out on the 30. I did good. I be trying, I be trying. I be cutting the prayer kind of short, doing all kind of things to try to get you all in and out, in and out in the allotted time. But I do have my little announcements to make. If you would be so kind as to read it, and do what it says accordingly. If, you, if you're being blessed, if you're being blessed by this woman of God and by this ministry, if it's a blessing to you, then be a blessing to me. Praise God. You don't go eat at Denny's and then go down the street and pay Red Lobster. I say you don't eat your meal at Denny's and then you go down the street and give your offering to Red Lobster. So if, in fact, I am being a blessing to you, it's okay for you to bless me back. Now, if you don't want to bless that way, there's another way that you can be a blessing. You can go to 7MinuteBling, 7MinuteBling.com. And on 7MinuteBling, see all these beautiful bling, bling, bling things I be wearing? The blings that I'm wearing? Praise God. Every day, $5, $5, $5, $5. Five dollar sets. Seven minute bling dot com. Pay attention to how you spell the seven. S E V number seven in. Praise God. Until the next read. I'll be back on the YouTube and the big alphabetical L M N O L M N O P L M N O on the big you can always see me there. I'm there for like four hours every day, nonstop. We read this, I take a break, and then we go right into commentary. Join us there if you'd like.
and or YouTube. All right, God bless.